Hello, and welcome to the Volunteer Virtues Network. My name is Michael, and I'll be your host on Something is Rotten in the State of Denmark. Today, I'm having Torben Andersen with me, who is a Danish volunteerist. And he's doing a lot of activism and trolling, and is actually one of the funniest trolls in Denmark, at least in my, in my opinion, anyway. He's been doing a lot of stuff, uh, and a lot of pages called Edmund Jensen, stop Ronnie Garner. Um, Wilma Allen translates to Crazy About Allen, which was a parody of um, the Danish edition of Dan Dancing with Stars. Welcome to you, Tom. Thank you, Michael. Um, I'm glad to be on your slow. <laughs> slow. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you. No. Uh, it's it's nice to be here. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Good to have you on. Uh, yeah. It's we've been talking about this for a while since I started the show actually, and it's yeah. it's great to finally have you on to do something. Thanks. Since you skipped on me last week, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Was, I'm sorry. That's no. okay. I think I, I, I hope that's okay. I don't think Mike was angry. Okay. Missing the show anyway. But I, I hope not. <laughs> we have this big crowd in front of your house. Give us your show. No. Yeah, free yeah. F is gonna kill me. Oh, something. <laughs> yeah. So we should talk a bit about you. No. <laughs> Boom. Well, um, I'm 26 year old, uh, living in uh, Zurich right now, moving to Barcelona in, in one month, and going to stay there for some time, and probably go back to to Switzerland. And um, yeah, uh, my name is Torben, and I'm a, a part of Frihedsaktivist, the, the Danish block freedom activist, uh, with Lars Andersen. He's the the main power behind the the page. And um, what's to say? Uh, I'm I'm educated as an uh, industrial electrician. Do you work with that? No, I don't work with that. What do you work with? Some um, security related stuff for um, private people. Oh oh. Private security. Yeah, I, you, you can. Yeah, kind of. That 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 sounds interesting. So mm -hmm. the state doesn't have to take care of that. Take care of what? The private security stuff. Mm, no, no, no. I I, the state was in the security market. This the state is in the security market, I guess. Uh, we we had actually have some some experiences where. Um, some government supported companies um, is our what do you say competitors in in, in business and yeah but it's not it's not hard to uh, to make up with those and and be better than those actually no but but I didn't think that private people could protect anyone with anything <laughs> <laughs> no like isn't that just chaos in the company. Yeah, completely, completely anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's not. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I could imagine. But yeah, you probably know what you're doing anyway. I uh, I hope so. Yeah, I, I've seen a bit of, of your work, so I, I I could imagine that you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> so, so let's but, talk about how you became an anarchist. <coughs> that, um, that, that must be a good story. Yeah, uh, um, it's like every, every face tells a story, and every story is worth listening. I once read that a, a guy named Jonas uh, wrote it. I guess he, he's a he's a cool photo photographer. But um, my road to anarchism. Um, I was in the hospital. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I was. Uh, I, I had my ankle broken, and I was just laying there. And, and then uh, this guy he popped up in uh, in all over the news, uh, Lars Anderson from uh, Freedom Activist, because he was selling weed online, 
and the way he did it was he uh, he put up advertisement that he he's uh, selling weed and he also registered a company so he could sell this weed i think he he, uh, he spoke about it on one of your previous shows actually yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> it was so great and um then i read about him and uh he was putting pictures online on some of the great leaders the the politicians and, and uh, the parliament's facebook pages uh to to let people know that he was selling this uh, product and i was like yeah fuck yeah that's awesome man fuck the system uh, <laughs> i've always been a been a rebel uh, maybe sometimes just just an idiot but yeah but i, I wanted to I get some that on, that on facebook earlier yeah <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's, it's, prob- got, it's, it's got probably it's got some pretty good comments actually. It's it's, 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 it's probably right. And people didn't agree. Uh yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm not that big an idiot, but um, depends on who you're asking. True. So, <laughs> uh, when when we when when we did one of the trolling pages on Facebook, when when we uh, split. Denmark, like the population, just in half and half about this uh, TV show. Uh, I think if 50% of, of the, the, the people in Denmark would say I was an idiot. Yeah, the other 50% would probably say you were brilliant. Yeah. But that was a brilliant thing to do. Yes. That was a great thing to do. But <laughs> That was ridiculing democracy to the worst <laughs> exactly. point ever. It was amazing. But that, that's um, my my way to anarchism is um, uh, I wanted to to buy some uh, some weed from uh, Lars because of the way he he sold it and just make fun of the politicians and stuff like that. But um, I was in the hospital and when I got out from the hospital some weeks later uh, I was on crutches, so it, was, it wasn't that easy. And he was living in Copenhagen and I was living some hundred kilometers from there and. So yeah, it, it didn't happen. But I started to to follow Lars and his uh, blog, and yeah, became friends with some some liberal people uh, on Facebook and started to to read more about it online. Just some some articles about uh, yeah uh, liberalism. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of the same road I took. I saw Lars selling weed and. Then I yeah. read a bit about him, and then I saw him doing some other stuff with uh, the licensing, and then I got through from from there. Found Jeffrey Tiger and Stefan Molino, and that's yeah. that's so a little bit about the same. Yeah, actually, I, I don't even know those uh, two names you just mentioned. I, I heard uh, Jeffrey Tiger before, but. It, yeah, I don't uh, read any books. I don't watch a lot of YouTube channels and all these interviews and stuff like that. So, but I'm I'm trying to catch up with it and just uh, stick to my moral, whatever happens. Yeah, you asked me for some books not so long ago. So yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I've been asking a lot of different people for a lot of different books. <laughs> But I, I never really uh, um, read any of them. <laughs> the, the last book I, I really read was in the, the tenth grade. So oh. yeah, I, I read a lot of uh, technical stuff uh, about network network routers and stuff like that, coding. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, I started a couple of years ago. So <laughs> before that, I didn't have any experience reading as well. It's, I have a hard time finding writers who can actually catch my attention. Because I'll just, hey, a squirrel. <laughs> a squirrel, yeah. A cat. <laughs> I have a cat. Or the, it's not mine. It's it's a flat cat. It's, it's so fat. It's nice. Yeah, I have a dog that's fat. <laughs> fat piece of shit. Oh. So, we'll continue. No, not this distraction. This. Ooh-ha. Ooh-ha. It's it's ooh ha. Uh, isn't that good? Uh, I I shouldn't be smoking when doing this. Mm, I don't know. What were we talking about? Yeah, uh, you were talking about your how, how you became an anarchist. Right? How I became an anarchist, yeah, and uh, I I uh, started to 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 get some new friends who were like uh, in the, the liberal. 
uh, Youth Alliance party and hang out with these and, and um, they were actually pretty awesome some of those people in the Liberal Alliance Ungdom uh, the youth organization pretty anarchistic aren't they they are actually pretty anarchistic some of them and <laughs> it's just fantastic um, but um, I I paid once uh, to become a member and and then I started to to go more and more into the the anarchistic uh, things and ideology is not an ideology is it? No, not really. It's just I mega fruitless. No, you see, I, I'm not that. Uh, what's the word in English for belaced? <laughs> uh, well written. Well written, whatever. When you read a lot of books and, and know a lot of fancy words for yeah. So. <laughs> but um, and and I, I start to get more and more into to this anarchism thing and uh, speaking more and more to Lars, uh, reading uh, re- re- read his articles and actually I, I found it like pretty obvious that well there I owe myself and nobody else has the right to to decide for me a rule about me. Uh, so what's this big thing about democracy and it's it's a big bluff it's uh, yeah I, it's, it's just one, a boost to make people one, once you're out uh, out it's, it's hard to get out actually <laughs> you, you cannot just uh, sign off democracy but once you're out you you, <laughs> you never get in again and, and you see more and more people actually also gets out it's a matter of time before we also have the technology on our side so let's hope we can say goodbye to democracy in uh, 50 years maybe in for 30 years i think it will be sooner sooner than that but i, I hope that but, uh, I, I hope uh, it's gonna be a couple of <laughs> people are too tired of the system uh, yeah, I hope that, but uh, I don't know. Right now, I think the evolution is going backwards, but... In, uh, <laughs> I see also... more, more people wake up every day, so it, I, I think you're wrong in that. But... Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Of course, a lot of, of more people wake up, and it's like, uh, what is all this thing with the politicians, and why are they doing this to us, and, and the police state, and all that shit. Yeah. But people is also getting a lot dumber. Everywhere. True that. But at, at least we have the internet now. Like when I was in school, there, there was no internet. Well, there was, but not not that uh, easy to get on. Yeah. We had it in school, but we didn't have it at home, so I couldn't use it for other than when I was in school, and I wasn't at school very much. <laughs> so, oh. so, but yeah, it's it's getting easier for people to get knowledge actually it is that's a good thing absolute and people is using it and that, that's great yeah and there's people- also a lot of people who's, who's not using it <laughs> so at, at, just imagining uh, imagine it everywhere you go if you have a smartphone just at the tip of your hand the tip of your fingers you have access to everything everything yeah, and, and, and then, you're what, is, what is anything. what is people what is people actually using the device for? Taking selfies and going to Facebook and upload pictures on Instagram with the food and stuff like that. So, but yeah, we have more more people who's getting awake about the whole situation uh, about government and democracy and shit. So and that's why I think Facebook is a very good platform to spreading freedom because. Mm-hmm. A lot of people catch their attention, especially on pages like the ones you've been um, administrating, like yeah. Admin Jensen. So many people have come <laughs> and, and gone off with knowledge, actually. Yeah, it's, it's even if it's... Um, yeah, um, I've had some, some, some uh, big sites on, on Facebook together with some other people. and It's, it's mostly been uh, trolling people uh it, it started with a face call a page called stop on a garner garner stop on a garner <laughs> and um <coughs> he, he's a danish guy who created some silly videos like 10 second videos 
uh, where he did some silly stuff, and then he just laughed, ha, ha, ha. And people thought he was quite funny, but there was also a lot of people who didn't thought it was so funny, and they hated to see it pop up on their news feed. <laughs> so um, we created a page, uh, We, a, a friend of mine and, and me, uh, called Stop on a Garner. And in a matter of days, we had 10,000 likes, and we just put up, stupid pictures like we created memes and then people started write, writing in uh, in our inbox like oh what the fuck i want to fucking kill you why are you against honey garner and you make honey garner look bad and ah, wah, 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 a lot of bullshit it's like yeah so what we did was we, we wrote them back really polite and but still being on top of the things so it was really polite like uh, if an idiot wrote to us ah fuck you i'm going to kill you we just wrote back dear dear x x x x whatever uh we're we, we appreciate every letter we get and blah 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 uh still being very provocative and then we send it back and then he answered like even more angry ah fuck you it's, it's like kind of um uh, have you seen the threats from the advocates uh, to the Pirate Bay 10 years ago? K- kind of like that, just so, answered so, in, 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 a, in a polite way, but still like, go fuck yourself, you fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> and, and then we, we took screenshots of these pictures and we put them online on the page. And before Facebook shut our page down, it took 14 days from we started to shut it down, we, we had 30,000 likes and we had reached 1.1 million people in Denmark in 14 days with, with our sarcastic humor and, and funny pictures and making fun of all the idiots that, that wrote to us. And while we were doing it, uh, I was thinking, oh, after some days, like I could see we were reaching maybe 200,000 people every day, new people. So how can I take advantage of this and, and put some, some anarchism and some, some freedom into this and still do it in a, in a cool way that will, will, will be funny, but people would maybe start to think a little about maybe this is right. So, so we did. And I remember one of the, the people who wrote to us, we, we had a lot of different people writing in, in the inbox, but he was like, hey, can I buy your page? Uh, a lot of people wanted to buy the page because we had so many fans in, in such a short time. But of course, we didn't want to sell it. We, we didn't want to make profit off it. We, we just want to have fun. And um, can I buy your page? And I was like, yeah, that would be um, eight bitcoins. Sincerely. Elmin Jensen and Elmin Jensen is like an avatar we used which we have s- since uh, created some other pages with the same avatar or whatever blah 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 but but then he wrote back so these bitcoins things where can I get these and why can I just pay you with normal money and I wrote back a long letter but like in a, in a, in a really um Easy way is about, yeah, you should obtain some Bitcoins because this and this and this. And there, it's decentralized and stuff like that. No government control. And also the, the fiat currency is, is bullshit. And the, the dollar is going to blow soon. And America is just going that direction and stuff like that. And so simple, but sarcastic. But yeah. And he just wrote back, fuck you or something. It was funny. So we took a screenshot and we put it online on, on Facebook. And it probably had 2,500, 3,000 likes. Some, some of our pictures had 10,000 likes in two days. But this one, uh, maybe 2,500 likes. And I could see people started in the comments to actually think about like and, and writing Mm, this is actually pretty funny, but uh, they are not dumb. These people, there, there's 
yeah, United States, the dollar is going to blow, and and what they're saying is so logical. Why should anyone have the right to to rule over me? And I can actually see the idea of Bitcoin. That's pretty smart. And and so we had uh, a lot of people uh, helping us, like guys like you, uh, anarchist, who who also were on, ha, has been on the pages a lot, and and arguing and debating uh, with, with these people, and um, that has created that also. Actually, that was actually how we got in touch with each other. Each other. Yeah. I wrote a comment to one of the pages on Edmund Jensen, and and you wrote me in a message something I can't remember what it was about, but. That, yeah. that was how it started. <laughs> it was okay. pretty cool. Yeah, but, but we, we we've probably met sooner or later. But uh, anyway, but but yeah, that's, yeah, I've I've had a lot of, of friends uh, through these uh, sarcastic and trolling pages I've I've been doing. And it's it's been pretty entertaining to follow uh, the <laughs> and, and yeah. Do that. yeah. I have this this folder in Dropbox with screenshots uh, from uh, the first page, uh, Stop on a Garner, that the Facebook shut down after 14 days. And I, I've never seen so many people in, in one time on a Facebook page or wherever just like, oh, this is the fucking best. I love this page. Ah, la, 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 like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty funny to read sometimes. Yeah, I could do that. that. It, it took some time and effort, and, but yeah. You were talking about an incident earlier when we talked where you came to Denmark just after the Rani Ghana page was shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some days, some days after Facebook shut the page down, um, I, I was back in Denmark uh, and I went out uh, drinking uh, in Copenhagen Friday evening, and I met two groups of people randomly on, on two different bars uh, they were talking about this page stop on Ghanar and how bad it was that Facebook just had shut it down and stuff like that and, and then you realize that this is um, this is actually creating an, an impact on something so we, de we decided to uh, take it on and, and use the avatar Elvin Jensen and, and created a, a page called Elvin Jensen as simply as that and had had some trolling also on that page, but yeah, uh, Facebook shut it down and shut Elmin Jensen 2 down and now there's an, an Elmin Jensen 3 and I'm actually not a part of, of the number 3. I uh, I dropped it at, at the number so 2 when, when Facebook deleted it. There's so, a number 4 as well now. Yeah, number 4. There, there's uh, many people trying to, to ride on the wave, yeah. like uh, <laughs> when, when Elmin Jensen 2 got shut down, in, t in in five or ten minutes or something, there were like five new Elminians in three pages. Yeah, there's not, still three of them. Yeah, there's still three of them. Yeah, so um, it creates an impact. And, and Elminians in two had fifty thousand likes, and and one of the other pages that was shut down, uh, Bilme Allen, crazy about Allen, had sixty thousand likes. So we have been reads like, no matter who who you you go to in Denmark, you can ask at least for one of these these pages i guess and they would say yeah i, I know that, that that's funny or yeah i know that's, that's a fucking idiot there man i hate them <laughs> so but it's funny how about how that works actually it's either you love it or you, you hate it mm. no neutrality whatsoever i don't know it nothing <laughs> it was, it's it's great to to try to to get people to to wake up yeah i, I think it's a great way to do it actually it's yeah. it seems to be working and that's yeah. the thing. One at a time, one at a time. Yeah. So. That's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> the, the trolling part has been, I think it's a, it has been a great impact on many people, actually. Yeah, it, it has, absolutely. Because uh, I also believe that uh, the, the thing that hit, hits hardest, like, it, it's it's humor and... and that's what what people uh, likes the most. Of course, you you're laughing and you're having fun and and it's it's funny and it's uh it's trolling. And yeah. when when you're you're open for your humor and you're you're having some fun, uh, trying to put these anarchistic uh, things into it. Also, I don't know. It's, it's that's something. <laughs> yeah, seeing as we have five minutes left, I think we should end yeah. off with uh, with the whole. 
But yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let me let, let, let me say also that if if you go to to any people on the street and like you, you uh, yeah, this is uh, I believe in anarchism and. Uh, there should be no state and uh, the the police should be privatized and stuff like that. They would just be like, oh, 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 what <laughs> the fuck? No, who's going to build the roads? Yeah. Um, you, can but, just, but it, you can just see it in the eyes. <laughs> the roads are rolling up in front of yeah. them. Running but if, 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 you, if you are a little bit sneaky, you you can you can go with with humor and trolling and and put the the anarchism and and all the stuff anti political statements statements into it and and people will receive it a lot better. Yeah, if, I think if, if some of the the people liking uh, Edmund Jensen and yeah. crazy about Alan, if yeah. they were seeing this video, I think they'd be like, what the fuck. I like no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, okay. It's it's not only about no 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 no. It's it, that's, no, no, that's <laughs> but but seeing this video that they might actually be like oh did I support an anarchist? No way. He wants chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think there would actually be some people like that. Of course there will. And we also had sometimes when I had made comments on the pages that were like uh, pure anarchistic comments, uh, people were like, oh, I didn't know Elmin Jensen was an anarchist. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what? Yeah. No. That's just crazy. But I, I really wanted to, to end off with the whole social security number scandal. Oh yeah, the, the scandal. Uh, yeah, actually, it, it, it was. Uh, <laughs> blame it on Lars. Blame it on Lars Andersen for, for, from Freedom Activist. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how, how to start out. It's, it's, um, it's uh, 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 a, a loophole. I I didn't find a loophole. You uh, used the one anyway. I didn't use a loophole. Yes, you, no, it wasn't you, but you were in on it. <laughs> Someone was in on it, and <laughs> all of all of suddenly we had uh, the social security number from the prime minister in, uh, in Denmark of Denmark, Helle Thorning Schmidt, and we had the social security number for uh, the defense minister Nikolai Wammen. So uh, Lars he posted a blog uh, update about these numbers and their names and their addresses and, and like this is a uh, counter surveillance from the from the civil society <laughs> and they were pissed <laughs> <laughs> really mad yeah so uh, Lars, he got arrested uh, just after a TV interview about why and how these numbers were put online by the police. And they were waiting for him outside they were, the building. They were waiting for him, yeah. And one week later, we had a, uh, an institution in Denmark uh, under one of the final, um, the, the, one, one of the government institutions or something was related to it. They did a mistake, so they put like 900,000 Danish people's social security number online for some hours. Who's arrested? That, no, uh, no one. No one is arrested. And, and that's how, how things is working out in Denmark. If, if you uh, release the social security number of the prime minister, you're a criminal. If you release the, the social security numbers for 900,000 citizens, it's just statis statistics. It's, um, yeah. Uh, th there's so much much injustice about it, and that's what we're trying to fight. But the PR value of it has been amazing. It's, it's so great. I can see you you're actually wearing a T-shirt yeah, right uh, now <laughs> <laughs> from Freedom Activist. Yeah. It's a, a picture of uh, Hilary Thorning, the Prime Minister, and her and social security number, and, and the social security number, and it says, "Who watches the Watchman?" <laughs> uh, I had to get two of them. <clears throat> yeah. We are actually planning uh, to go to uh, Nikolai Vaman, uh, the defense minister, uh, to his house in a couple of weeks. A lot of, a lot of people with a big banner and some t-shirts also with his face uh, because he went out in uh, uh, an article, uh, I think it was an information, the Danish newspaper, where he said, 
yeah, we're collaborating with the NSA, but um, nah, you're not going to get any information. <laughs> Fuck you. Like that. Yeah. So we we're thinking about going to his place and creating a big banner and have some guys flying around his house with drones and have some big cameras with these telescopic lenses to take pictures through his windows and stuff like that just to let him know that we're we also watching him if he, he want to watch us yeah Lars I actually set up an, what's it called a, a Facebook event yeah the, I can't remember what it's called now like a okay. char- like a charity where he collects. Oh yeah, it's it's on the the Patreon. Yeah, the, he, yeah. yeah, that's right. He created yeah, yeah, Patreon yeah. to get uh, funding, and where he promised yeah. to do it once yeah. he reached a specific yeah. number, and that, nice. that took like one day or something, and it was. <laughs> it's yeah. so cool with these fundings. Yeah. The last last time he did the funding, or like uh, he he set a goal that if. If we reach like three hundred and fifty dollars per month, I will do uh, do pepper spray in my own eyes, and it was like in in one day. Yeah. <laughs> so and that's did. also yeah, it's a great video. It's, yeah. it's it was greatly uh, inspired by Adam Adam Kokesh. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was pretty cool. You have, have you watched that, haven't you? No, I haven't, but I I, I had pepper myself once and tw- <laughs> twice once. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never, never again. <laughs> yeah, I think it was pretty cool he did it, but... Absolutely. And he tested his own product, so why not? <laughs> yeah, a- every decent uh, dealer, whatever you're dealing with, should, should test uh, his own products. Yeah, I hope he's going to uh, sell tasers soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I once did... Uh, I, I tasered my my balls. It was on uh, when I was in in the school for the first time in the um, electrician uh, studying. I was like I don't know. It's seven years ago. I took 250 volts to my balls. That sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm making it something like that. Uh, that that's 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 the the balance we we talked about. Sometimes um, you you're maybe doing some some good work, doing some some cool stuff, or you're just being a fucking idiot. And <laughs> I think that was one of those days. I was an idiot. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think the time is up. Yeah, I think so too. A little bit over, but that's let's should be okay. Let's let's have another interview another day only about the the hacktivism and hacking and, and shit then. Yeah, right. We didn't really get into that. <laughs> no. That's, that's a shame, but yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for doing this. Yeah, thank you for for having me on the show. It was a pleasure. Bye. Cheers.